cotangent of the inverse cosine of negative root 3 over 3. Let's figure out what this angle is inside here. So it's going to be between 0 and pi because of the properties or the domain of inverse cosine. So it's going to look something like this. So this is 3. This is negative root 3. In order to find the y component, we're going to take 3 squared minus square root of or uh, negative root 3 squared square root of this, which is equal to root 6. And then, because we have this now, so this is equal to root 6, the cotangent is equal to x over y, which is going to be equal to negative root 3 over root 6. You can break the bottom component down into root 2 times root 3. These two cancel out and you end up with negative 1 over root 2. You probably don't want that though, so you do multiply both sides by root 2 over root 2 and you end up with negative root 2 over 2.